Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to conduct a chi-square test. So once you've logged in, and I'll just go ahead and load up the nursing project, and we'll see here we have heart failure and depression. We want to see if there's a relationship. Just go to the analyses tab and go to chi-square test of independence. So the two ways of doing it, one is from the data itself. And here, I can just enter in my variables, one, heart failure, and two, depression. After I put in my two variables, I go ahead and hit calculate. And here you can see the assumptions of that chi-square were, were assessed. The expected values, um, all cells have expected values greater than zero, and 80% have expected values of at least five. And we come with a conclusion here that yes, those assumptions were met. Here we can see the chi-square test was significant. It's also showing how to report that. And once we know that it's significant, the P less than 0 0.001, we then drill down into observed versus expected. And here we'd say, hey gosh, for those without depression, without heart failure, they were more observed than expected, and this write-up speaks to that. Also included is our APA 7th edition table. Now, the second way to conduct it would be if you don't have data, but you just have the frequencies. So here, you can change the rows and columns. And here, I'll just put in depression. And here, I'll put in heart. And here, I'll put in no and yes. And here I'll put in no and yes. And then I'll go ahead and put my frequencies in there. 628, 89, and 162, and 121. Again, you can see the assumptions are exactly the same with the same results and the Results you can see have the same exact chi-square value, significance level, and interpretation and table. And that's the two ways to conduct the chi-square test of independence. And then of course, you would just download your document to, uh, to edit. And that's how you conduct chi-square test of independence in two ways using intellectual statistics.